I'm Chelsea. Today I'm over my friend Ashley's house. She and her fiance recently bought this house and so they're starting fresh, but they're looking for some fun ways to make it their own, starting in the master bedroom. One thing we decided on was creating a focal feature out of this wall using shiplap. For this project, we're going to need eye protection, a razor knife, a pry bar, a hammer, a paintbrush, paint primer, painter's putty, latex paint, tape measure, a miter saw, a jigsaw, a sander with 220 grit sandpaper, a level, a few nickels, wood glue, a brad nailer with inch and a quarter nails and a compressor, and finally, quarter inch plywood ripped into six inch planks. Okay, Ashley, our first step is to get the walls clean and flat and ready for our ship lap. So we'll start up top. We're removing all electrical plates, curtain hardware, nails, and screws. Basically anything that will obstruct the ship lap from setting flat against the wall. I want our ship lap to be primed and ready when we need it. So we're gonna stop here for a second and go ahead and paint the planks. And I don't know if you're that familiar, but ship lap is an actual thing like it's an actual type of material. And this is not it. Oh, this is, this is not it. We are doing a budget version of shiplap. So this is quarter inch plywood. But once it's up on the wall, and we'll, we'll space it to look just like shiplap, it won't look any different. This budget version comes from a sheet of quarter inch sanded pine plywood ripped into strips six inches wide. You can get seven planks out of a single sheet of plywood, so for an accent wall, this really is a pretty affordable project. And if you don't have access to a table saw, they'll cut it for you at the home center for a few extra bucks. This also makes it easier to transport home. Ashley and her fiance have plenty of dogs and cats, but this one, Oscar, is clearly the most rambunctious of the group. <laughs> we get paint on the floor, it's all your fault. <laughs> Black kitty might be white by the time we're done with this. All your animals seem to get along with they, each other. They do, they do, yeah. We, uh, we did not intend to have a full zoo in our house. Um, however, it's just kind of like happened as time has gone on. Um, you just have big hearts. But we're at the point where it's like, you know, we love them all, which one are we gonna get rid of? <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to get any more. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's what everyone says. Okay, Ashley, when we put our quarter inch plywood on here, it's gonna look wrong up against the baseboard. So we need to pull this off before we get started. But it can be dangerous to pull trim because you can break it or damage the walls. So we have a tool that hopefully will help us out in uh, preventing damage to either of those. You can kind of see how it goes down in there and as you're hammering, it pries the baseboard off the wall and then we wiggle it and get the nails loose. So I'm gonna put you in charge of that. Before we can use the trim puller, we need to cut or score any caulk lines holding the trim to the wall. This will make it easier to remove the baseboard and crown molding, and more importantly, allow us to reuse the trim later. So why are you getting right there? Because it's actually two different pieces of trim put together to look like one piece of base, and it's better to take them off separately so that it reduces your chances of them breaking. Now we're ready to give this trim puller a shot. With old trim like this, you have to be cautious not to snap the wood. So we're taking it slow and carefully prying it out every 12 inches or so. All right, Ashley, now that the wall is clean and ready for installation, we can go paint our shiplap. Great, let's go see what color my fiance picked out. Primer tends to raise the grain of soft woods like pine. So we're quickly sanding over it with 220 grit sandpaper to smooth it out before carrying them back inside to paint. I think Ashley's fiance made a great color choice. This will provide a nice light contrast to her otherwise dark room. I definitely recommend painting all of your boards individually before installation. If you paint these once they're nailed to the wall, you could end up with a lot of unsightly paint runs. Once they're installed though, we'll still need to do a little touching up. Okay, we're ready to install our shiplap now, um, but we don't want to put it on the floor because then the baseboard's going to cover it and we're only going to get a tiny reveal of it. So, do you want to make it flush with the bottom of the wall? Yeah, let's do that since the wall doesn't go all the way to the floor. I'm flush over here. 
You're good? All right, what do you think about that reveal? That's a good. Looks good. Okay, I think that's a good starting point. Let's just check our level. All right, we are good. All right, you ready for your turn? Sure. <laughs> okay, so the tip of it has to be depressed all the way for the trigger to work. So there you go, now you pull the trigger. So that looks pretty good. All right, first one done. After installing the first board, we measure and cut the next one to size. And there are a lot of cuts to be made. So if you don't own or have access to a miter saw, I recommend renting one for this project. Occasionally, you'll run into obstacles like electrical outlets. So we're marking where they land on the board and cutting them out with a jigsaw. After completing the first row, we nail the baseboard back into place. We're placing a nickel every few feet as a spacer between each row. This will give us the shiplap look we're shooting for. Now that we're getting the hang of it, this project is starting to fly by. Measure, cut, glue, add nickel spacers, and nail it up. We'll be done in no time. All right, tell see last piece. All right, nail her up and we'll be ready to paint. We're puttying all the nail holes that the gun left behind. Then a little bit of spot painting and the shiplap wall is complete. This looks great, Chelsea, I love it. I love the way it turned out. I think it looks really good in here. Okay, we got your bedroom taken care of. What room's next? The kitchen, but it's gonna be a little while. <laughs> I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.